All right, so what you're gonna need is you're gonna need a couple patches and we have these from our store. I love this one, this is like one of my favorite ones and it's a huge big seller, so I've got this little haunted house. Okay, so next thing you're gonna need is you're gonna need an iron and then you're gonna need your garment that you are going to put your patches on. So I've already put on a couple. This one is also from our store. This one's not, but I'm a huge fan of the Monsters, and I mean, who isn't? They're amazing. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna heat up your iron first. Now, um, I usually put it on what uh, heat setting that my garment is. So this is denim, so I'll actually put it on cotton because it's the highest setting and denim is pretty thick. So you wanna get the iron nice and hot so that it will melt the back of the patch. And we've already applied um, the iron on transfer for these so they're pretty much ready to go for people who are kind of rough with their jackets and stuff I would really highly suggest to also sew your patches so do the iron and then sew after just so that they're they have that added durability to them so all right so once the iron is nice and hot step is lay your jacket out on a flat surface. Make sure that you use either an ironing board or iron on a towel because if you don't, you might melt the surface that you are working on. So in this case, I have a folding table, but I have my towel just to make sure that it's not going to melt. So I'm going to work one at a time. So I'm going to have him on the very back of my jacket. Now this one's going to be a little bit tricky because I have all these little lines just so I have to make sure that every little spot is heated evenly. Next part is I'm actually going to take a thin piece of fabric. Um, you can use a thin napkin or you know something old, make sure it's cloth not paper, um, and just place it over your area. Try not to make sure you move the patch. Sorry, I'm doing this with one hand. Um, and then make sure your iron is nice and hot. And then press over the area for a couple seconds each. I usually like to do like five to 10 seconds just to kind of make sure that I get most of it. You don't want to do this because if you do that, you actually might move your patch and it might come out not the way you wanted it to. So make sure you're only pressing um, firmly your patch. And I do both sides. So with the thinner patches, you um, generally do the front first, but sometimes the thicker ones, it's just so thick you can't get it heated enough. So that's when I'll just flip the garment inside out and then do the inside of the, um, the garment with the patch first. And then usually with the thicker patches, they'll, they'll stick pretty well. So, okay. And the front side, you just want it to make sure it sticks pretty well first. And then I'm going to flip it inside out and then I'm going to do the other side. You don't have to put um, the fabric again on the inside because this is already a fabric. So you don't have to worry about that. The fabric is more just to protect the outside of the patch. So now I'm going to go on the inside and press all the little areas. Now, if you miss a little area um, after you're done, you can always go back and heat it again. And then also you can sew it, like I said earlier. And the cool thing about these is they're machine washable. So, um, so you won't have to worry about them coming apart in your washing machine. You just want to make sure that your dryer is on low or no heat, um, just so that it doesn't heat up the patch again and the patch fall off. So, okay. So now that part is done, you don't want to mess with your patch immediately. Let it cool down because it's super hot. So, and the heat activates the um, 
the iron-on transfer part. So make sure it's nice and cool to the touch. Usually it takes about 30 to 40 seconds to kind of cool down. Um, and then you'll want to go back and make sure, so like that guy, looks like I actually got it all in one shot. That usually never happens for intricate designs like this. <laughs> but I'm glad it did for this video. And then there you go. So that's one patch down. I'm going to show you how to do a thicker patch. So here is our hell patch. This one, as you can see, it's pretty thick. All of our patches are on felt. And I really, really like the felt versus like some of the canvas that other people um, embroider on because the felt actually works pretty well for garments and especially punk jackets. I think they give it a nice like texture and they're flexible too because it's so annoying when you get a really really thick hard patch and it feels like the garment doesn't move with it. So I found the placement that I want for my hell patch. Now you only have a small area to work with because these little buttons here so just make sure when you're pressing it's just in this little area or when you're placing it inside out that it is going to be lined up so you can even use a safety pin you know depending on place if you want um but i just make sure and double check you know that's exactly where i want that patch to go sometimes it's a little difficult to get areas like this but we'll make it work And just make sure you get all the corners. Press firmly. So very carefully because he's still hot and watch if you are near any buttons or anything because these are super hot. I don't want you guys to burn yourselves. Okay, it looks like I might have missed a couple spots. So now I'm going to go back and do it again. really want to make sure you get all those edges because as you're wearing your garment like if you catch on anything it, you know you don't want the patch to rip off or become loose okay I'm gonna let him cool for a second doesn't it look so cute I love it well, I hope you guys like this video. Please make sure to like and subscribe and follow us on social media. Our uh, Instagram and Facebook is at Project Pinup. And then go to our website to find all these cool patches at www.projectpinup.com. Thanks, guys. Bye.